Nine tips to deal with gas lighting. I recall your memory and answer these phrases are familiar to you or not. Are you insane? Seriously, you want to do this? Are you aware of what you're talking about? You're becoming too sensitive, take it as a joke. You have often listened to these questions at different times in your life. If your answer is yes, then allow me to tell you that you might be experiencing gas lighting. Do you know what actually gas lighting is and how to deal with it? In this video, I will tell you what gas lighting in detail is. I will also tell you about the nine simple ways which will prove very effective for you to cope with gas lighting. What is gas lighting? It is an act of emotional abuse that forces one to reconsider, rethink or question their ongoing circumstances. It is a manipulation of the thought of a person which will push one to question their own thoughts and sanity. It's often seen in abusive relationships. This word is derived from a movie named Gaslight. It is of many types and can be found in different types of relationships, which includes employers, bosses, companions, and family members. Most exhausting from all of them is the gaslighting between couples. Now let me tell you nine simple ways to cope with gaslighting and take control of your mind back. Number nine, recognize it correctly. Now there is a very thin line between gaslighting and rude behavior. It is very necessary to recognize it correctly. It is not very easy to recognize because gaslighting is based on a cycle of repeated manipulation. Its main purpose is to make you doubt yourself. Just imagine how you will get through your life if you keep on doubting yourself. How you will retain that confidence that is necessary to focus in your life and keep progressing. Hence, recognizing it correctly is essential to avoid doubting yourself. If someone has a different opinion, that does not mean that he is gaslighting you, even if it's in a rude or critical tone. Other than that, there is also unintentional gaslighting, like if someone tells you that, I think you ate overreacting but they do not want any harm to you or gaslighting you. Gaslighting leads to doubtful thoughts, struggling decision-making, confused, unhappy behavior. Number eight, keep a distance and have some space. Gaslighting often causes anger and frustration issues among people. Some people deny that, but in reality, they have been in a conflict with themselves. It is very normal to experience such emotions when one deals with gaslighting. Anger and frustration will not only snatch your inner peace, but will also hamper your relation with others. So how to avoid it? Keeping calm and maintaining a good distance will help a lot. It will help you to focus on the truth rather than the faults they were feeding you. Physical space means taking a break or going for a walk. If you can't leave it physically, then try having breathing exercises or grounding yourself. Number seven, think again, and again. Now this is a very effective way to cope with the abuses that one deals with. If someone ever tries to win you over in an argument, then you should stop for a moment and think about it. Think about it again, twice. If you have an appropriate answer by then, state it in front of them. If not, then simply reply that, I will think about this in detail and get yourself out of the toxic environment of emotional abusers. Remember, you do not have to be in conflict with them. Just try to mind your business or separate your ways in such cases. Number six, documenting the evidence. One thing that you can do to counter gaslighting is by collecting the evidence of the interactions with the gaslighters. You can do that by saving them in form of photos, chats, notes with dates or screenshots. This will help you when they deny the fact they were doing anything of this sort. When they do so, you can always go back and see their truth for yourself. While managing the evidence, make sure that you have set some boundaries and have taken extra self-care. Number five, open up about this behavior. Now this kind of emotional abuse happens because the victim does not speak about it. The matter will be pressed and is taken as a non-issue. If you are willing to end this abuse and want to stand against it, then you should start to speak about it. If you show that this type of behavior will not be tolerated, then it will never happen to you again. Call these abusers in calm. 
and polite manner and show that no one will accept this behavior. Make awareness about this issue and do not be affected to speak. Number 4. Remain confident. The primary purpose of gaslighting is to be dominant in others' minds and opinions. That is the reason why you often question your decisions. It will be best if you are confident about yourself and your decision. Never ever make a decision without proper research and a base, but once you have made that decision, then stick to it. Come what may, but never let anyone dominate your mind. That also does not mean that you become stubborn about your opinions. It would help if you debated about it because the debate is a healthy activity. Remaining confident in your life is the key to get through your life no matter what the circumstance is and it will eventually help you deal with gaslighting. Number 3. Seek the support of professional. If you ever feel that you cannot handle the situation or your anger and frustration issues are getting out of your hands, then it will be good to seek professional support. Contact the psychiatrist or therapist to counter this emotional abuse. It is expected that sometimes you can't control such emotions yourself, and seeking professional help can be very beneficial. Gaslighting often becomes difficult to confront. Many countries have laws against harassment. It would be the best if you looked into them. This abuse can make you alone, but you do not need to fight with it on your own. Number 2. Increase involvement of others. When you interact with people who might try to gaslight you, make sure that you are not alone. Try to evolve your company and have interactive sessions with them. Try that none of you try to impose your decisions on others. This will create a sense of understanding and increase your bearing capacity. Limit your contacts with the abusers and if you ever meet them, try to have a company of supportive friends. Number 1. Do not argue with gaslighter. Do not show or tell them that you are in disagreement with them. Just neutralize your expressions. If you want to make a point, then state it in a calm and polite way and just say that you have a different perspective about the topic and you do not agree. This will keep the conversation neutral and will not give anyone a point to have the upper hand on you. I hope that you will find this video to your valuable advantage and it might help you in different ways. If you found this video informative, do like and subscribe and don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedbacks. Plus, if you want to suggest a topic for the next video, feel free to tell us. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video and until then, stay tuned.